Hello and welcome to another beer review and this one I'm going to do is a Christmas beer and I've got to um, say a big big thank you to my mate Panikos for sending me this one mate so cheers Panikos for sending me this and it is, uh, I think he got it on his travels in Amsterdam but this is actually a Belgian beer and it's from Struis now Struis is uh, the brewery what did, uh, did a, they did a hell of a good Royal Belgian stout called Black Albert I had it the other year it was a phenomenal phenomenal stout and um, yeah so Struis is Flemish for ostrich so there's their badge there you go boys and girls and the beer is Cheezus I think they pronounce it Cheezus or Cheezus and basically it was named after well one of the brewers at Struis came about with that name when he was brewing a batch of beer once, or, or either brewing this batch or whatever, and he says, Jesus, that's a good <laughs> that's a good batch of beer. Anyway, they've kind of like bought it out, and they've kind of like pronounced it as Jesus. So, anyway, as you can see, a bit of a dude on the cover. I don't know if that is uh, supposed to be Jesus, or somebody else who looks like Jesus. And it is their 2015 version, this. So I think they must bring it out every year. Um, maybe st slightly change the recipes as well. Um, there's a the back side. And it is rather strong. It's coming in at 10% ABV. Like, you know, a lot of Belgian beers are strong. <laughs> so let's crack a open. Like we do. There's a bit of smoke there coming off. Plain gold crown. There. Let's see what we get from the neck. There's a, you do get this hint of mouldiness about it, a slight hint of mouldiness about it. There is a hint of brownness there. A slight hint of dark fruit even. But all in all, it smells, you know, it's a little bit spicy as well. So let's uh, pour out like we do. And she's come out cloudy. Cloudy gold, that'd be enough. Save the rest for later. That's a bit of cloudy gold there, as you can see. Um, quite a lot of hissing of carbonation. Quite a, uh, the, the head's dissipating down. Um, it, it is kind of like it does look more more brown than gold, but I get from the nose anyway. Under a little bit more spice there. There's maybe a hint of pear there. Definitely a sort of that a mould a mould I call it mould, you know, like mould wine. Nothing, you know, you get a kind of like a dried dried orangeness there maybe even. But smells nice, so I've got to make a toast to you, Panikos mate. Cheers for sending me this one. Cheers. Do get some bitterness at the back end, well, at the front end, should I say, down the back of your throat. You do get a hint of cinnamon stick there. Um, dried fruit comes to mind. Um, maybe a dried plum there. Um, them stars used to, you know, they put in mould wine and stuff. There is, a, there is an element of mouldness about this one. You can taste it. A hint of orange peel there as well. Um, and a hint of lemon there as well. It's rather, rather nice. Rather nice. It's 10% ABV. You do get the element of strength. You do feel... Uh, a bit of warmness of alcohol in this beer as well but um, yeah you, you do get the, the slight brownness coming through uh, a bit of weakness coming through as well slight cerealness 
complementing with this kind of like slight cherryness there as well. It's actually rather nice. Actually, rather nice. Um, yeah, it's 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 it's. Yeah, it's, 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 it's rather nice, I have to say. So, boys and girls, Struce, Jesus, <coughs> excuse me, here you go. It is a Belgian Xmas Ale, 10%, rather nice that. So, boys and girls, grab hold of one, or grab hold of one next year, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this review. Uh, please subscribe. Murder me in the comments, and I'll see you boys and girls next on me next one. So cheers.